Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and I read an interesting news article last month about a development that Canon has made in CMOS sensors for cameras and video cameras. They didn't really make very big news, but it was really amazing to, uh, to think about what it can do and then to actually see the video clip, the demonstration video that they put up. So I'll put a link to that down below if you want to check it out. Really, it will blow your mind. They basically, you know, all the camera companies have been, because of how consumers think that you, more megapixels is better, so they keep going, you know, 12 megapixel, 18 megapixel, 30 megapixel, trying to make the, everything smaller and to give you a bigger number, because that's what people think, is you need a larger number of megapixels, that's got to be a better camera. They don't know that that's not the case, but if that's what everyone thinks, you have to cater to your customer. Even if um, you're not making better cameras that way. Well, Canon has decided to do some research in the other direction. And they've made an absolutely amazing 35mm full frame CMOS chip that's 2 megapixels. And that would certainly not be impressive if it weren't for the fact that what they've decided to do is go in the complete opposite direction. And they've made each of the, the receiving pixels in the chip larger rather than smaller. It's actually in this chip, um, each individual pixel is seven and a half times larger than in their top of the line uh, camera chip right now. So they made it larger and they put in special circuitry to reduce the noise. And the reason for all this is light sensitivity. It's, it's uh, incredible what this, this CMOS chip can see in the dark. The fact that without any aid, without any uh, you know, night vision type boosting circuitry or infrared or anything else going on that it can actually see in the dark much better than you can. I guess the best way to explain it is that um, ordinarily with just a regular camera, not zooming or anything, but taking a picture of some people right in front of you, you look at them first, you, you know, size it up, you sort of imagine how it's going to look to the camera, then you put the camera up to make sure it's how you imagined everybody you know, fits in, you're not cutting off any heads, and then you take the picture. But with this, uh, camera, if you were in this situation where it's very, very dark, where like the only light in the room was coming from the, the red ember of a single incense stick, and you wanted to take a picture of it, you wouldn't look and see and figure it out and then hold the camera up. You would start out by holding the camera up, because there wouldn't be any point in putting the camera down and looking, because you wouldn't be able to see anything. You'd see so much better just looking via the camera. Anyway, about this chip, it uh, can actually see stars down to magnitude 8.5. Now somebody with good vision can see down to about magnitude 6. That's about the cutoff of where you can make out a star in the sky. So this will see, looking at the same sky as you, will see many more stars. So the camera has applications in, in astronomy and astrophotography. Also they're thinking uh, medical imaging and in security because you have a security camera out there and you know people are going by but if you don't see anything on the screen it doesn't cap there's not enough light to capture what's going on there's not much point in a security camera well with this in a security camera setting it can actually see by the light of a crescent moon all you need is crescent moon in the sky and it's it's amazing the detail all it needs is 0 0.03 lux of illumination to be able to see what's going on. So anyway, I'll put the link down below. Once you watch it, I think you'll understand why I'm just sort of in awe of it. Now, if and when it will ever make it into consumer products like a regular point-and-shoot camera that you can use or a relatively inexpensive camcorder, it might be quite a ways away. I don't know that it will ever come that direction, unfortunately, because again, everybody's going to look at what's the, oh, this one's only got two megapixels and this one's got 40 megapixels. Well, of course I want that camera, but no, not of course. The advantages this has in low light, I just really hope they you know, take pity on us mere mortals and uh, will produce a camera, an affordable consumer camera, at least one model that has this in it. So those of us who would like to see the world beyond the way we can see it with our own eyes, will have a chance to do that.